Hello, hello everybody. Good morning. Uh, this is a beautiful day. I greet you all again in the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you for joining us on this beautiful day. On behalf of the founder and general overseer and the family, I greet you all in the name of Jesus and welcome to Holy Ghost Deliverance and Christ Ministry International, a.k.a. Paul L. Becker Ministries. The theme of our mission is Jesus' finished work movement. Our mission is to preach the good news and the love of Jesus with the power of the Holy Ghost to all nations. We are to work with all churches and the body of Christ through indoors and outdoors programs. Our main goals are to bring sinners to Jesus and the kingdom of God. Church planting and making leaders are part of our mission, a place where everyone is welcome to meet God and make their supplications through Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. Our weekly and monthly programs are as follows. First Sunday of every month is Holy Communion. Every Sunday's live streaming service start at 11 a.m. Every Wednesday's Holy Ghost Hour, 9.30 a.m. Every Friday's Holy Ghost Deliverance and Baptism, 9.30 a.m. Our offices open from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. For now, all our activities are online, Facebook and YouTube. If you are led to be a support to our mission, please follow the link on Facebook and YouTube that you are watching from. And if you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number plus one two five three two two nine zero five five six email address holy ghost d two zero zero five at gmail dot com please do not forget to subscribe to youtube and share with family and friends thanks and god blessing please let's welcome paul l becker Hallelujah. God is good all the time. All the time God is good. People of God, I greet you again in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I believe today is going to be another gracious and a blessed moment as we are here again with another moment, another session and another hour which I believe for those of you that are out there watching us you are not watching us by mistake you are not here by mistake the good God brought you here for a time like this the Holy Spirit wants you to be empowered and have the anointing that we impact generation your ministry your family and your nation as we avail ourselves day and night to be used by Yahweh Jesus and the Holy Spirit to bring the good news to you your family your ministry and the whole world let me use this moment to open this session sweet Holy Spirit we love you we acknowledge we acknowledge you without you we are nothing here on earth without you the work of the ministry work we go slow and we have a lot of challenges that is beyond our understanding and our strength thank you for coming and thank you for being with us forever our father Yahweh Jesus sweet Holy Spirit is here doing great work thank you for allowing your son thank you for the grace you place on your son thank you for your righteousness you place on your son and upon his finished work we are righteous we are bold we are more than conqueror we come before you and we are bold to call you our father let this moment and the whole globe be filled with your words filled with your presence filled with your divine power filled with your love and let life be transformed those that you have called unto yourself Jesus and you have anointed them with your Holy Spirit Yahweh may we do your work without compromise may we do your work free and fair with love the platform that we are using we cover it into your hands the ministry angels that are assigned here on earth to make sure your name your ministry the body of Christ take over territories we commit it into your hands and let your anointing take all over this place let peace reign because Jesus your name is peace amen I open this session in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost amen beloved saints on behalf again my wonderful family we say Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are watching us from, your continent, your nation, your time, we respect you. For you, we were called. For you, we are here to give you the good news from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Beloved saints, by the special grace of God, as I said, the Holy Ghost Hour has the same title and we are moving according to the direction and according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Not according to Paul Baker, not according to the opinion and the desire of man, but according to the leading of the throne, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. They called me. I don't want to do anything that their name, their glory is not seen. I'm just a mouthpiece. I'm just a microphone. I'm just an instrument that Yahweh, Jesus, is using to reach God's people. Be you righteous, be you sinner, whatever category you belong, if you are lost, with the word of God, you will be found. So get ready, my dear brothers and sisters. Whatever ways, whatever availability you have to avail yourself, that little time, spare it. Allow God's anointing to reign in you that your life will never be the same. We are moving with experience and practicals about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. By the special grace of God, we are on number 069. We are moving forward little by little, slow but sure, because the Holy Ghost knows who are out there. He knows who are thirsty, the thirsty ones, the hungry ones that needed to be fed with the Word of God. As you can see the display, we are dealing with Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. We are still moving. It's very important. It's very timely for us that are called believers. As Jesus said, if you are not careful with these end times, with these situations, ungodly activities that is going around us, You'll be carried away if you are not grounded with the word of God by the help of the Holy Ghost. You'll be deceived. Thank God men and women are out there that have availed themselves to bring you the true gospel, not the fake gospel, not the false gospel, but the true gospel about Jesus, the true finished work about Jesus, the true heartbeat of Yahweh's kingdom. So rest assured, the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. I believe your joy, your weeping has already ended with confidence, with boldness, I'm here to tell you that it is over. Allow me to read the scriptures and by the help of the Holy Ghost to interpret it to you, the meaning. Maybe you have heard it before me but because the word of God is new day and night, allow yourself 
to listen to this version that is coming from this platform and it is up to you to compare and to contrast to believe or not to believe but as the Holy Spirit is the one that give conviction not man I believe because the Holy Spirit is speaking through me and he is the power source behind evangelism behind the gospel behind the word of God will enable you to understand to have a clear mindset about what is coming from this platform second corinthians chapter 6 we are taking it from verse 10 and we finish it unto 18 this was written by one of the greatest everything was him was great even when he was serving destroying the kingdom of God destroying the gospel of Jesus the New Testament he was great on it and even when he was saved he got delivered he got salvation he was great so that tells me the powers of darkness will not reign forever however they may look like they are great however they are buffeting you they are buffeting nations they are buffeting leaders they have an end time because God created everything when God said enough no one can stop God when God times reach for Saul to stop destroying God's people destroying the children of God destroying the believer even the powers of darkness could not stop so for those of you that are out there you are celebrating you are jubilating enjoying wickedness from the heartbeat of Satan buffeting you trying to destroy God's people your end time will come surely it will come God is capable of doing everything he created everything though Satan and his agents are deceiving people but the end has come so as I'm bringing this down for those of you that have already read let me read my own part it is well in Jesus name Amen he said from verse 10 our hearts ache but we always have joy we are poor but we give spiritual riches to others we own nothing and yet we have everything I like this part verse 10 everyone that are called by Jesus and empowered by the Holy Spirit go through a lot of ups and down when you choose to preach the true gospel 
I repeat, when you choose to preach the true gospel, the heartbeat of Jesus, the expectation of Jesus, as the Holy Spirit enables you to read the scripture and pass it on to generations and pass it on to nations with no compromise, you are always going through a lot of challenges. Our master Jesus, he lived here for 30 three and a half all was not going well in the physical because the word of God is true and final when he said woe unto this place that is why even Jesus God himself came in the form of man and dwelt here. Jesus went through a lot of challenges. He went through a lot of difficulties in the physical because they said it. And it has an end. But because the end yet to come when he himself, Jesus, was here on earth, in the physical, he went through a lot of challenges in the human form. So the gospel is not just about everything smooth. That is why my victory my success, my achievement, my growth, I want it to manifest in the realms, in the spiritual. Because God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are spiritual. We don't see them in the physical form. Likewise, the blasphemer, the devil, we don't see him physical, his spirit. The angels, good and bad angels, we don't see them in the physical. They are not like us as a human or the animals or the trees. So you have to have a spiritual endowment, spiritual empowerment. Be you righteous, be you unrighteous. You have to have that spiritual eyes, spiritual empowerment for you to see beyond the natural. That is why the powers of darkness, they have their own empowerment to see beyond. But we that are greater, we are serving the one that created even them, the powers of darkness. We are on the better side. So when Paul was addressing the Corinthians Christians and trying to generalize it and making it in a plural form that our hearts, that means Paul and the others, his followers, his disciples, says their hearts ache, but we always have joy. They say we are poor, but we are, but we give spiritual riches to others. We own nothing, and yet we have everything. In this verse 10, only those that have spiritual understanding, not Kana, were able to understand what Paul is saying in verse 10. 
So men and women of God allow God's plan, allow God's purpose, allow God's anointing to dwell in you and pass on the true gospel. Be you rich, be you poor. What I'm giving you, for example here, I'm giving you riches that money can buy. The anointing of God, the impartation, God's blessing. You might classify me in your own opinion that how many followers he has. Look at him. He's very poor. Not many. He's struggling. Yes, you are seeing me in the physical. But let God open your eye in the spiritual and you will be able to know exactly what this person is. That is why this topic is saying, the Holy Ghost Hour, it says, experience and practicals. Everything that I'm giving you is upon the experience that is that was upon me, that came upon me, and present is still moving because God's words are new every day. The more I give, the more I receive new oil. If I sat down with it, no giving it out, I reduce my renewness. So the more I'm giving out, the more I'm receiving. I may not have physical, I may not have money, I may not have physical food to give it to you. But when that time comes, I will do both. But for now, allow me to give you spiritual food, spiritual gift, spiritual deliverance, spiritual prosperity. When your time comes for the eyes of men to see what you have achieved, no storm, no witches, no wizard, no marine kingdom, no serpentine kingdom, no unclean spirit will able to take it away from you because you have been grounded in the spiritual realm. Oh dear Corinthians friends, we have spoken honestly with you and our hearts are open to you. Paul is still emphasizing. He say, what I'm telling you, what my team and me and others are telling you, let's person, let me personalize it. What is coming from this platform and other platforms that are true are honest. All you need is open up your heart and receive it. No strength attached to it. No prize. The only is for you to trust, believe, and obey. And it shall wear with you. Open up yourself. Open up your heart. Don't allow anybody to rob you, to steal the good news that is coming into you. Verse 12. There is no lack of love on our part, but you have withheld your love from us. Verse 13. I am asking you to respond as if you were my own children 
open your heart to us. My dear brothers and sisters, my dear saints, nations, the body of Christ, one has to go through hardship. One has to go through rejection. One has to go through persecution. One has to go through gossip. Life. As I said, I don't know. Maybe somewhere I have a biological child. But physic in the legality that I cannot boast that I have my own biological child. But yet, I have children over there. Some have good experience. Some have good testimony about their marital life. Some of us, ours were up and down. Some have established ministry. Some of us, the ministry was like that. Today it goes good and tomorrow it goes down. That doesn't mean God is not with that person. That doesn't mean all is lost. God has his own way. He's making some look like a metaphor. He's making them look like a laughing stock. I could imagine people would have asked the Israelite, God chose you, people, that you are his best. See all the calamity. See how the enemy are buffeting you. The enemy are taking over. See you are slave in another man's country. See you don't even have enough money. Challenges, struggling. That is not the end. But at the end of the day, God is with them. And when God arrives and fought for them, they saw the finger of God. They said, the Egyptian said, this is not ordinary. God is with these people. So saints, it doesn't matter what you are going through. Hold fast. Hold strong. Let people gossip you. They gossip our Lord. Jesus. Even from while he was in the womb of the mother they started gossiping him so who are you for you not to be but rest assured that don't limit yourself to my physical appearance or don't limit yourself about others opinion what they are saying don't limit yourself. Oh my God, I'm following those that are already have it there, whether they are true or not. Yes, in your eyes, they are the best. But in the spiritual, you are not growing. So my dear brothers and sisters, there are good men and women of God that are true out there that God has up appointed them, anointed them to preach the good news. I'm not the only one that is good. Many are there. Great men and women of God are there that are preaching the true gospel. Open your heart. Maybe I may not be here or maybe you cannot understand my clear accent. Your understanding of the same accent are thousands millions are out there or maybe i may not look like the same skin color look for your 
skin color, the true men and women are among them. Just open up your heart and receive the true gospel. Holy Ghost deliverance in Christ's ministry is not the only perfect. That is why the last time I checked, Yahweh, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost have not yet pointed me any church, any denomination that you see that one, those are the true worshiper. No. So, God uses the foolish things of this world to confirm the wise. He has the power to use anything to speak to his people. 14. Don't team up with those who are unbelievers. How can righteousness be a partner with wickedness? How can light be? How can light live with darkness? My dear brothers and sisters, Paul is not saying that we should deviate ourselves from the unbeliever. No. For them we were called. For them we are here. But do not yoke equally with them when you are among them be mindful be careful because they are spiritual understanding and your own spiritual understanding are different things so even when you are preaching when you are out there showing love you are out there be careful and Paul said why have you teamed up with unbelievers how can light live in darkness it's not possible verse 15 what harmony can there be between Christ and the devil how can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever the equality the equal yoke You have your spiritual understanding. When you are among them, you are the light. Their eyes are open to look at you. There are men and women that are out there carrying the word of God day and night. The unbeliever knows everything about who are true and who are not true. Because they know how you are interacting with them. We are here with them. Be mindful. Be very careful how you are dealing with unbelievers. Their minds are not yet open. Their hearts are darkened. It's a process. There are some of them. Their minds are made up. When, they, when Satan stole our inheritance, he stole our blessing by disobedient and placed upon himself as he tried our master Jesus our brother he said everything has been given unto me he didn't lie but when Jesus conquered when Jesus overcame Jesus finished work took everything from him so but Satan is still buffeting people at sea he has everything no that is why Paul is saying when you read verse 10 you might think I don't have anything, but I have everything. 
is just an appointed time. So my dear saints, be careful how you are partnering with unbelievers. We need them, they need us. Verse 16. And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God, as God said. I will live in them and walk among them. And I will be their God and they will be my people. Amen. Amen. Verse 17. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourself from them, says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things and I will welcome you. Oh Yahweh, you are loving. Verse 18, the last and the end. And I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Beloved, we are living in a crazy world. We are living in the world that is full of temptation, intimidations, suffering, hardship, you name it. But the end will surely come. And I believe it's here. Just give, in, give yourself to Jesus. Accept Jesus. To be your Lord and personal Savior. Open up your heart. Receive God's blessing. Receive the Holy Spirit in you. And it shall be well with you. It's just a temporal. Your suffering, your hardship, I say, it's just temporal empower yourself in the spiritual realms empower yourself with God's words and it shall be well with you as I have come we have come to the end of this session 069 experience and practical about the Holy Spirit. If this is your first time of hearing this good news and you want to give your life to Jesus, open up your heart and say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender unto you. I am a wretched sinner. I'm not worthy, but your grace and your finished work reign upon me and deliver me from all iniquity in Jesus' name. Sweet Holy Spirit, move upon that vessel. Fill them with your anointing in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me now pray general prayer. The authority being invested in me by my Father Yahweh, in the name of his Son's name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And by the power of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, move mightily out there. Touch your people. Fill them with your anointing. Guide and protect them from all harm and danger. Every contrary spirit against their life, against their family, I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Yahweh, your name is love. Yahweh, your name is holy. Take all the glory, take all the praise, and take all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear saints, we love you. Stay blessed and stay out of trouble. Do not allow anybody to rob you. See you on Friday. 
as baptism, deliverance and baptism. And don't forget to bring your communion as we eat openly. And your life will not be the same. Amen. I love you. Shalom. Bye for now. <laughs>